Yo, in this video, we'll be looking at creepy and strange TikToks that will make you question reality. And that asteroid belt that we have right now, mm -hmm. between Mars and Jupiter, that used to be a planet. And I believe that they had humanoids that developed on there. I believe that Cirrus used to be a planet when it was here and the humanoids on there didn't recognize that we don't have a solid core. Everything expands as a sphere and no sphere in our universe, no bubble has a solid core. We're perceiving it as a solid core, but there is not a solid core there. There's a, just a bubble. And at CERN, that hydron collider, that particle accelerator, I believe they did the same thing and they popped their planet. And it became that asteroid belt. Really? Just take it, if you add up all of the weight of the mass of those of of the asteroids in the asteroid belt it will probably equal the same mass as that of mars like if i said to you what's one times one what'd you say one it equals one now what what would newton say is that action times an action that's a reaction right an unbalanced equation. What we need to do is, the first thing in math is you're supposed to have a balanced equation. One times one equaling one is an unbalanced equation. So we need an audit on the platonic solids. We need an audit on the square root of two. And we need an audit on action and reaction. Or we either got to get rid of, we say one times one equals one and there's no action and reaction. One or the other, you can't have both. And until we make that change, we're in trouble. We're gonna be stunted as a, as a species we are all connected so one times one what is it is it two is it one is it none let me know what y'all think on this ether and that waveform is that's the consciousness we are all just one great being yeah we're not separate we're all the universe is probably one cell inside of some super organism right we're all god that's what Jesus was talking about. That's that's what that's what you know. Buddha was talking about. It's it's recognizing the divinity in you, instead of waiting for the Messiah to show up. What if everybody picked up their torture stake and behaved and did the things that they had expected the Messiah to do? What if everybody just for one day walked around and behaved as if they were God Himself? But there is no death. There's no death. We are all. Everything's eternal. And once we forget, once we get rid of the idea, okay, you're going to die and disappear, you know, then they don't have any grabs over you anymore. And, and to be free, the truth will set you free. I hope y'all ready. Buckle the fuck up. Former LAPD detective claims Diddy ordered the $1 million hit on Tupac and Suge Knight. Allegedly offered the money to the man who would later go to admit that he was involved in Tupac's unaliving which is this man in the corner right here, Dwayne Keith Davis. Now, former detective Greg Kading has come forward with the whole thing. According to Kading, it was a heavenly evolved investigation into the unaliving of Tupac Shakur and Biggie, which we all know Dwayne admitted to taking Tupac out. Now, according to Kading, Dwayne Davis told him that the hit was ordered during a stop on Diddy's 1995 summer jam tour in anaheim california diddy allegedly got a whole room of crips together and told him what he wanted them to do diddy allegedly offered keith d one million dollars to take tupac out and suge that night and keith told diddy that band will wipe them out real quick for you and then tupac was taken out after mike tyson's fight you know at mgm grand if you go back to my video when i'm talking about foxy brown being a witness to everything it will let you know this part. Keith D then allegedly obtained a 40 pow pow from a well-known UGG dealer named Von Zip Mark. He was also a promoter. Keith D along with his nephew Anderson and two other, you know, blue people found Shakur and Shug's night shortly after 11 p.m. on that night and used the 40 caliber to do what they needed to do. But the matter wasn't over just yet. Did he later called Keith D and asked him, was that us? Did we handle business? And Keith D confirmed, yeah, now I want my money. But did he reneged on that payment? And he never saw a lick of that $1 million. Now, as previously reported, Diddy has denied all allegations. But baby, if Diddy ain't going down for the Cassie shit, he definitely need to go down for the Tupac. 
We all knew he was involved, but this shit right here just solidified. Tell me what y'all think, peoples, because I'm a little, I'm a little heated. I'm a little happy and I'm a little heated. Have you ever seen this video of the coroner's van that supposedly had Michael Jackson's body in it that didn't know it was being filmed? This guy thought he was going to capture them wheeling him out, and instead, he captured this. Mm. Now, mm. I was very skeptical when I first saw this, so I had to do what I do, and I did my investigative work. 127602. Remember that number. So what I did is I went and I scoured the internet and I found actual news footage of a helicopter filming the body of Michael Jackson going into a coroner's van. And you'll never guess what I found. Let's take a look at that number. Do we remember? 127602. Mm. And just in case your memory is not good. Helicopter garage 127 602 now for me this isn't enough to just automatically assume he's still alive but when you keep digging you'll see this guy's name is dave dave and he's supposedly even a friend of michael jackson's and have you ever heard him speak and there were all these paul mccartney records all over this the girl is mine and you know this and that 13 solo albums and solo appearances on tv shows and there were all these paul mccartney records all but of course you always think feel things i don't see marlon next to me i don't feel and is this next clip just them putting the truth right in plain sight i felt like he had like michael jackson's spirit in him because there were times that he even sounded like him talking and i, I it just it would just kind of blow my mind. Some and you may not realize it, but he wasn't just the king of pop, but the master of disguise. Michael Jackson was not just the king of music. Michael, who also had a talent for disguises, was also the king in this regard. The master of disguise. That's crazy, yo. these masks, man. Like I said, I'm just showing you some evidence. You make your own decision. But before you make your final one, why don't you listen to what the surrogate mother to Michael Jackson's children also had to say. In that time, they've gone on some very unusual outings, often with Michael in disguise. Yeah, he'd call, what are you doing? Nothing, what are you doing? Wanna go to the video? Yeah. You know, I, he'd sneak out without security. He got caught. I was like, God, this is like a Beatles film. We're getting chased by people. <laughs> we'd have to call security and bail us out. Yeah, we'd, we'd go out and do stuff. Maybe Michael, like she said, just got sick of being chased around like he was the Beatles. And before I end this, I have a confession to make. I wouldn't listen to this man's music for 10 years in my car. I would turn it off immediately if it came on because I was mind controlled by the TV. I watched one thing and I just assumed that this guy was an evil, disgusting man that did things with kids that I don't approve of. And what I realized once I woke up is that the TV controls your mind in more ways than you could ever imagine. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he really is or where he really is, but I have my thoughts and my ideas. But my biggest thought and idea is I just want you to know this is all for entertainment purposes. Of course, Michael died of a tragic drug overdose and he's no longer with us. God rest his soul. Entertainment purposes only. Yo, is Mike Dave Dave? I bet you didn't know this. What if I told you that before you were born, you made an agreement, an agreement called the soul contract, a contract that outlines your life's journey, challenges, and relationships. These soul contracts are stored within the Akashic records, 
the cosmic library that contains everything that has happened in the past, is happening in the present, or will happen in the future. Imagine an entire blueprint of your life, crafted with the wisdom of your higher dimensional self. A blueprint that details all the lessons you need to learn, the people you will meet, and the experiences you must undergo to fulfill your soul's purpose. A roadmap designed for your spiritual evolution, guiding you towards growth and enlightenment. But there is even more. These contracts often include karmic relationships, those souls you've encountered in past lives with unfinished business to resolve. The challenges you face are not random. They're deliberate choices to foster growth, resilience, and wisdom. Accessing the Akashic records can reveal these soul contracts, providing insight into life's purpose. Through specific meditation and spiritual practices, this repository can be accessed. What do you think your soul contract would say? Hmm. I'm not sure what it would say. So we all remember when J. Cole said how many people faking their streams, getting played from machines? Mm-hmm, yep. This is what he was talking about. Stream farming. So that mean a lot of these streams and a lot of these views that we be seeing could potentially be bots? Hmm, that's crazy. And I just wonder who's behind this. This just goes to show you though, bro, what you see ain't really what you seeing. And if you count behind whoever could potentially be behind this, this just shows you that it's all an illusion. They literally have hundreds of phones that's lined up, that's clicking on videos, watching videos, that's giving them views. Which means they're not real people. Which is absolutely diabolically crazy. And a lot of people that be crashing out for clout, this is what they really crashing out for. But I'm curious though, gang, what y'all think about stream farming in the comments? Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Hmm, I guess J. Cole wasn't capping after all. What the f*** am I looking at here? Yo, what, what, the what are you? What am I looking at? Everything is artificial. Even the intelligence are artificial. Most of these people walking around, they don't have real consciousness. They're NPCs. They don't have a connection to their true soul. Okay? They're walking around operating off of artificial intelligence. Okay? Eat, sleep, fuck, repeat. And go to work. Be a slave. Social media. Find some type of entertainment. That's all people really do. They don't really have a purpose or they're not connected to themselves enough to know their purpose. You know what I'm saying? Everything is artificial. From the people to the personalities. Everybody want to be like everybody else. Everybody walk around want to look like everybody else. Everybody want to get the same hairstyle, same outfits, same trendy shoes, listen to the same trendy music. All this shit is fake. All this shit is an illusion. Y'all don't get that. We are living in an illusion. This God that y'all they, they got y'all worshiping, an illusion. A lot of people think that God is Jesus. To look at God as Jesus, this is not even the same thing. Okay? There's one source of energy, the creative source of energy that we all come from. Some refer to it as the source. You get what I'm saying? That's what it is. It's not a man. It has no identity. Y'all always attach identity to God. Y'all don't realize that's what that Bible made y'all do. Attach an identity to God. This is why y'all say he. And y'all say that God is a man. Father God. Y'all attach an identity to it. It's idol worship. That's why I don't, I'm not a Bible thumper. You know, and there's no disrespect to any people who do, because there is a lot of truth in the Bible, but it's not written in the ways to where we can really truly perceive and, and get that DNA unlocked and, and to really decipher and decode what they're truly trying to say. A lot of these characters that they make up in the Bible are only metaphorical examples of an energetic uh, experience that you will have, like being Jesus is being enlightened. OK, that's being righteous, moving in your righteousness. Right. Okay, that's something you have to choose to do and fight. Satan is just the opposite of that, being undisciplined, being self-righteous, right? Being righteous is Jesus, being self-righteous is Satan. It's all within you. It's all examples of who you can be. They just attach identities to everything to make you idol worship. This is why so many people worship these celebrities. It's already embedded in you, you know, but it's all fake. All this shit is fake. Mm. You know what I'm saying? All the movies, all the shit in the industry, all, the people are fake. You know what I'm saying? The politicians, fake. This whole fucking government, fake. You get what I'm saying? All this shit is fake. Because at the end of the day, we give value to everything. And we are tricked into believing that everything outside of us has more value than us. When honestly, nothing outside of us has value. Everything is 
internal because if we weren't here if all the people in this planet just disappeared one day none of this shit would have any meaning these cars these electronics the money the riches the mansions the cars none of it the government none of it would fucking matter without us we give everything a meaning even god quote unquote would not even exist if we didn't exist because we wouldn't know that it exists and we'd give no it it have no meaning we give god a meaning as well we give everything a meaning okay this is why people calling themselves gods or goddesses or people saying they love god you don't even know who truly what what, what god really is you know what i'm saying this is how it, they confuse us like that this is how they keep us trapped like that this is how they distort us this is how they do it a whole lot of fake shit propaganda media and then they dress it up glitz and glamour it and put it out there so you believe it and you don't question anything that you hear or see and a lot of people will argue that fact like you know we do not give god a meaning but we do and that's the whole thing that's the whole reason that we're in this boat that we're in right now half of the people on the population your idea of what God is came from what somebody told you God was. That's it. Like, you believe in God because... Why do you believe in God? Like, ask yourself that question first. Well, because I experienced him. Well, how did you experience him? Well, I was in a really dark place, and then I prayed myself out of it, and things started to get better for me. Well, you understand what you did. You, with your free will, the only thing you didn't do is pray. It just don't work like that. You had to have been doing things and listening to that higher self that's within you, that guidance that's within you. Well, God told me to stop drinking, and I did, and my, my life got better. Dang. You told you to stop drinking. God, why, why do y'all attach that to something outside of you, but you're hearing it inside of you? That makes no fucking sense. Y'all don't get that? <laughs> Then if, if something negative is said to you, oh, the devil, the devil told that man to kill him. And da, 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 da. No, he told himself to do that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing outside of you that's making you do nothing. Unless you're allowing it to, you know. And that's why they trick us into making us think that everything is outside of us because they're outside of us. That's why they trick us into thinking that God is outside of us because they are outside of us. So when we say we worship in their God, the God that they created for us, we're really worshiping them. That's just what it is. You got to think. The Bible was created by man, right? Oh, well, they it's God's word. How is it God's word? It's man's word about God. That's what y'all don't seem to get. Because God's word, <laughs> are the words that's in our brain, is there is no God's word to live by. I'm going to be right back, okay? And now I'm just... Whoa. What just happened? What's wrong with your baby? What's wrong with your baby? I, I understood when the leg and the arm went through and the shoulder, but but that head didn't fit. It hit, it did. Now I, I watched this video in slow motion about 312 times. It fit, it did. It went straight through that bar. It's not photo, it's not edited or nothing. It's not, that head went straight through that bar just like that, didn't even scrub on the sides. Mm -hmm. It didn't. What's wrong with your baby? You you need to pour salt. You need to pour salt. I don't believe in all that, but if if it was in my house, I'd pour salt. I would. It, I'd pour salt line. You don't even need that baby gate. You need salt. You need salt and sage, what whatever. The the witches that saw my other video, the witches will come in here and tell you that you you need salt. You need salt on that door frame. You need so I'd put salt under the door of my bed, like under my bedroom door. I put salt. What's wrong with your baby? There, there's a problem with that with that child. Yeah, the baby just straight phased through the gate. Hey, Dad, look at Carly. Get up here, Carly. What the hell was that? An ostrich. 
No, ain't nothing there. What the hell was that? Oh, it's not just a hand, that's a person. Get up here, Carly! Yo, I said an ostrich. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's creepy though. Where'd it go? Like what if that thing touches her and then now she got like a evil like an evil spirit the rest of her life? You know what I mean? And you just wonder what's wrong with Carly. Something's wrong with Carly. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no. Nah. Now to some dramatic video. It shows a sinkhole opening up on a soccer field in Illinois. Take a look. You can start to see the ground giving way. Ooh. An entire light pole gets uh, disappears oh basically goodness. into the earth. Thankfully, nobody was on the field at the time. Officials say the sinkhole is approximately 100 feet wide, 30 feet deep. They say it was the result of an underground mine. Mm. The city's working with engineers to come up with a plan to repair that. Okay, you guys, I just had a Mandela effect happen. And it's something that has always bothered me, but I saw it confirmed last night watching a movie. Now, I don't know if you're new to Mandela effects, but what it is is it's something that you know happened in the past, but somehow... There must have been a glitch in the matrix or we're living in a parallel universe where some things just aren't the way they used to be. They say Ed McMahon never did Publisher's Clearinghouse. They say there was never a Sinbad movie. That uh, Darth Vader n never said, Luke, I am your father. It was never mirror, mirror on the wall. All these things they say didn't happen. One of the ones that's bothered me is the 52 states. I remember in fourth grade learning about the 52 states. This was in mm -hmm. 1980, 81, somewhere around there. My husband remembers learning about 52 states. There is a Reddit thread from 10 years ago talking about the 52 states. And now people are saying there was never 52 states. It was always 50. Hawaii and Alaska. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. When has it always been 50? See, you new age people coming up y'all trying to control the narrative stop trying to change things all right it was 52 when we was coming up in school and we had geography class you know what i mean in social studies they said it was 52 states they were there were 48 states in hawaii and alaska made 50 well not in my timeline alaska and hawaii made 52 states but somehow there is no evidence of this except people's memories from back in the 80s. I don't know when it ended or when the gl glitch happened. It may have been in 2012. But I vividly remember 52 states. So last night, my husband and I were watching An Officer and a Gentleman. Which, number one, it came out in 1982. So I was like in fifth or sixth grade. And I can't believe I was watching that. Like, I remember seeing it when it came out because there's a lot of nakedness and a lot of inappropriate things that a fifth and sixth grader should never have seen. However, during one of the scenes where Sid and Mayo were talking, Sid was talking about a crossroads he was in where his parents wanted him to marry a girl back home in Oklahoma. And he was sleeping with Lynette while they were at this base during the training, blah, blah, blah. And she was saying she was pregnant all the things and he was going to have to propose. So while we were watching the movie, they were walking down the street talking about this. And this is what he said. Now, mind you, it may be a little inappropriate for fifth and sixth graders to listen to when I was watching this movie back then. Well, back in those days, I guess it's a little bit different now. Fifty two mm. states. Fifty two states. Best head in fifty two states. 
it's on there. Let me tell you, they try to hide some of these Mandela effects. Like they go back in Disney and make the skies look different and all these things. So the fact that I watched this on TV last night with closed captioning on and it showed up, boom. So I need you to tell me, number one, did you learn 52 or 50 states? Now I'm talking about Gen Xers, midlifers here because my kids have learned 50. So it, there, there must have been a cutoff somewhere. Also, are you new to Mandela effects and which is the one that pisses you off the most? Man, look, speaking of Mandela effects, right? Has anyone read the book 1984? I think Mandela effects are created. All they have to do is change the history a little bit and change it enough to where anywhere you look, that's all you see. For instance, we can create dead men, but we can't create living men. We can go into history books, we can create a whole story about a person who was never really here, not even a real person. And we continue to create that story. Now here we are in the future and everyone thinks that that event really happened and that that person really was a person, Julius Caesar. We don't have proof of these people, but someone created these people. And in our minds, we think they're real. And we don't really have too much evidence to prove them otherwise. Luckily for us nowadays, we have videos and we're able to go back and look at certain pictures and say, hold on, things were different here. You guys are playing with us. Yeah, Mandela effects are something else, guys. These are some of the most creepy and strange TikToks that are out there. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bells on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.